Oh, good afternoon, folks. We're in the kitchen here at WT Farms. And Uncle Steve, he's busted up. He can't go and do very much, so he's going to have a little fun peel a few potatoes. I don't know what we're going to get, but a mess for sure is one thing. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's one down. We'll have to clean off the ends I, there I, I just would, a little. <laughs> I would suggest you hold the peeler in a different spot so stuff doesn't fly upwards. Oh, how do you think? Like I'm not sure. Try down. Try it. No, that won't help. Like this? But then I can't see. Do I need to see? No. Oh, hey, then maybe what direction should I go? Maybe oh. I go this way. There we go. Okay. A little better control. Well, you waste a bit of potato, but you know what? Maybe we'll have potato skins with our supper, too. We're having fun, though. We might waste a bit of potatoes, but there's nothing saying you can't eat them peels either with a little bit of dirt on them. So you just shove her on there on the drill bit and... Give her a spin. Have some fun. You need potatoes for your roast if you don't like how much you're wasting. Well, you take her off and you look there after the fact. We'll have to use a knife a little bit, but we just put her on there. One little shove her on. Give her a little spin. And sometimes if you don't like it, you speed her up or slow her down and... Like Jethro, you, you get a little bit smaller potatoes, but yeah, you have some fun when you're hurt anyway. Because they're not round, but by the time you round them up a bit, it's actually pretty efficient though, Mom. Huh? Yeah, well you waste a bit more, but you sure get the peelings off quick. What do you think, Rednecks? So all you rednecks out there, what do you think? Is, am I making pig feet or am I making some french fry material here on the table? It's when they're not, when they're out of shape there. But you know, you can really, you see we got a mess on that one. That one's ugly there. So we can even trim that out of there. When we, when we have a bit of trouble there, we can, we can spin it a little extra and you know, yeah, you waste a bit of potatoes here, but what the heck. Redneck's got to have fun, too. It's not just Cindy Lauper and the girls that have fun. Rednecks have fun, too. Man, that works pretty good. But like I said, there's some spots here where you can see where the potato has some damages. You can clean it up, too. And then if you want to split them in half you just hold them and <laughs> you see when you're done spinning them just give them one hold there and you make a mess of them inside too you can take and tear them apart a little bit there no that didn't work out too good but hey how does a redneck figure things out you got to try it you know it's just certain things you don't need to figure out right i don't need to try certain things to know that they're not that good for me Seems like a pretty good sharp tool there, and it cleans them up pretty good. Like I said, you waste a bit, but I don't know. I think I'd do it again. I think what I would actually do if I was to do this again, though, is I would really, uh, I'd wash the potatoes, and then, because then you could eat all of this stuff still, too. Because I like potato skins, and, well, what, what is this besides potato skins? See, there's one spot there that's got to lose a little bit more once they sometimes they get around they're not the right shape eh? and you get them put on a little bit crooked or whatever and you you waste a bit more then got to have the tool in the right direction well anyway if anybody out there's 
looking to learn some redneck fun, Uncle Steve in the house here, busted up. I think we're going to cook this, Mom. There might be a little bit of dirt in there, but you know what dirt did? Dirt helps people not get so many illnesses. That's why everybody's sick now. They never eat enough dirt as kids. So we're going to eat a little bit of American or Alberta dirt here when we cook up this potatoes with the with the skins. Thanks, folks.